Hello and welcome back to the Wicker Library. My name is Aaliyah and I'm so happy to have you here today. Um, I have been a bit inactive over on this channel. I had quite the month <laughs> of March and so I had some family visiting and a lot of my classes had big projects too. So I had to put this channel on the back burner, but I'm back and it hasn't taken me two years to come back this time. So progress is progress and I will take that. But today I am going to just be doing a little April hopefuls video. I think I'm going to be doing a good few reading vlogs this month just because there are a lot of books on my little TBR that I plan to read that I want to film reactions for and talk about and there's yard work so just ignore that but I wanted to get that started so yeah here is a list of April hopefuls and hopefully you like it. Let's start with my current reads. So right now I'm reading two books and I'm about to start a third. So the first book that I'm reading is a book I'm reading for fun and that is In Other Lands by Sarah Reese Brennan and I'm loving this book so much. It, the cover is not there. This copy is lent to me by my lovely roommate Lauren and it's one of her favorite books of all time and so we're annotating it together. She's already annotated it and I'm annotating it in a different pen color and having my little thoughts and it's so much fun. It is just such a joy to be reading but that is one of the books I'm reading currently and the other book I'm reading is for class and it's for my black trans studies class and I was supposed to have finished it today and I only just started reading it today but that's not my fault it's definitely my fault but it's not my fault and that is redefining realness by Janet Mock and it's a memoir and I am about 80 pages into it I should be done soon. I'm enjoying it. It's very heavy, um, but I'm curious what our class discussions will be about. So yeah, those are the two books I'm reading currently. And what I will be reading next is Dear Sendron by Aquiki Amezi. I'm also technically reading this for class. It's going to be a reread and it's for the same class. And I'm doing a big project on Amezi and I'm reading three of their books again and this is the third that I picked so I'm very excited to go back into this book because I loved it so much the first time and if you don't know it's their memoir so those are the three books that I am going to be reading soon as for the hopefullys I have two books and those two books are also two authors that I'm going to be seeing in May and I'm so excited and the first one, the first author I will be seeing anyway, is Rick Riordan in conversation with Mark Oshiro. And I am going to be reading the Lost Hero series, that series, half for the first time and half not for the first time. So I read The Lost Hero and the son of Neptune when they kind of came out but I never got around to the Mark of the Athena it just I couldn't get a hand a hold of it so I don't really know why um I think it was recently out and everyone around me was reading it, it just it was just not available to me at the time and by the time it was available I'd forgotten the first two books even though I love them and I'm just so excited to go back into the world of Percy Jackson and I'm going to be reading this series technically for the first time, even though the first two will be rereads, I'm counting it as a first time read because I genuinely forget everything. So I will be preparing for the new book that Rick Riordan and Mark Oshiro is putting out and the two of their book tour that's going on, I'm going to be attending one of the events. So I'm very excited and this is in preparation for that. So hopefully I will be doing some reading vlogs for specifically this series because I don't know, I feel like that would be fun and I feel like y'all would eat that up. So there is that. Next, we have something I'm so excited for. Now, 
this author never does any fucking events ever and has only one book out and it is my one of my favorite books of all time i've reread it five times now and that is if we were villains by ml rio and i'm going to be seeing ml rio in person in the flesh in may and i'm so excited to finally be able to like see her in person and like hear her talk and i'm just uh, it's giving me an excuse to reread this for the sixth time and i haven't reread it in a couple years i reread it five times within the span of like a year and a half so this this had me in a chokehold for a good chunk of quarantine but i'm curious how i'll think about it now i still think i'm gonna love it um i'm just very curious if i'll have any new thoughts if it'll break me just as it has broken me five times already short answer is probably will <laughs> but i will also probably be doing a bit of a reading vlog for this so look forward to that but yeah those are the books i'm hoping to read in april including you know the lost heroes series or the heroes of olympus series that is the that is the series official title but please let me know what you're reading i will be coming out with more interesting <laughs> content hopefully including vlogs and what i'm reading and some book tags that i have on my list so all of those things will be coming i'm excited to be back but i just want to do an easy little sit down video little catch up um and yeah and i will see you in the next video